heroes of the revolution, huh? You wanna catch them in their pants now. We have reached our destination, the heart of corruption and misery, the city of Chihuahua. We have tracked the cartel leaders to this location, survivors from our previous engagements warning them of the faith that approaches. They have taken refuge in a heavily guarded compound in the center of the city. The bosses think they are safe behind their wall, but they are wrong. We will rain down fire and fury upon them. Then we will storm the compound on foot and take them out one by one. Any who would collaborate with the machines is an enemy of humankind and must be destroyed. The nearby slums house slaves that act as workers, militia, and are also paid as tribute to Legion. They must be protected. We are determined to put an end to this matter and return to the true objective. With that said, we must continue to grow our forces, and the only way to do this is through collaboration. We are T-Force, we bring the fire. Ahoy, welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. We are setting out on a fast attack mission. So we've got all the boys, heavy hitting team, let's go. That's it? The cartel's dead? So what's the plan? Not much different from how we took them down in New Tortuga. Engage and distract. Yeah, we can do that. Indeed we can. The most important thing is to seize the campus district and the These rebels can't rebel on their own? They hate the cartel, but they're still afraid of them. Heroes of the revolution, huh? We want to catch them with their pants down. We gotta hit them now. Yes. This area is lightly defended, but their reinforcements can get here quick enough if- Okay. Just as long as these rebels are ready to go when we make our move. Show them the cartel can be beaten. Oh, we can beat them, alright. Let's go, I brought two units of mercenaries, two units of infantry, and four Humvees fitted out to fight. Just pausing up here to make sure we're all ready to fight. We don't want to get chewed up by these guys here at the checkpoint. But let's go. One of our Humvees has a laser minigun. We don't look like the movement. radio transponder from the Don't even know we could listen in on Told you it was a good idea. Our vehicles are professional as. Bringing all the cartel Humvees upgraded. Stole all the armor from New Tortuga, all the weapons, all the vehicles. We kept everything. Took some balancing of the supplies, but that's something I'm pretty good at, so I didn't have any issues. Making sure that we can get here with a little bit left over. Stopping the cartel at the bridge in the last mission gave us a bunch more supplies for the trip here. An extra day's worth. Luis got a message through to us. The cartel's on alert and mobilizing its forces in the government district. Guess they know we're coming then. This was always gonna happen. We can handle it. Those barracks are where cartel reinforcements mobilize from. We need to capture them before they can overwhelm our forces. We need to take the cartel HQ. Decapitating Stripe Troublemaker. Cut off the head of the snake to win this war. Oh, we'll, we're, we're gonna cut it off, all right? Why don't we just hit him there? Cut the it off! The city's ready to rise up. We show the people how it's done, and they'll tie up cartel units all across Chihuahua. Then, we go for the cartel leadership. Agreed. Let's do this your way. If it's sir, yes, sir. If it's Digging sir. this game, it's got a great right. soundtrack. It's great. I mean, it's very difficult. I won't lie, there's a lots of micromanagement. Alright, we've set up our second wave of reinforcements. We've got Big Bob in the Bradley, we've got the infantry carriers, we've got a supply truck, we've got a bunch of gorillas, ATGMs, the works, snipers. Ready to go. We're ready to go with wave two. Alright, we're going to set up a checkpoint here, take over their position, and we're going to scout out the barracks and see what we can do. We're going to take it nice and easy. For the video itself, I'll try and cut out all the downtime where I'm just micromanaging the units and that sort of stuff. But I do foresee that these missions are quite extensive, quite long. But don't let the length of the video deter you. It's very satisfying gameplay. And if you have a mind for strategy or you have any knowledge of tactics, you will do extremely well. Everyone that needs to be is dismounted. We're going to use a little trick that we learned in your Tuga is to launch your man pads at fixed structures to take out all the walls. And that makes the fight a little bit easier once you get in there close. Because the enemy won't have many places to hide. Second one out. We'll keep one there in reserve. 
All right, we need to shoot out this gate because we can't move through it. Using the minigun here on the Humvee. I'm gonna creep up gorillas because they have high stealth. I'm gonna keep them hidden. I'm concerned about this ridge line, so I'm going to move a sniper up here just to watch that approach. It looks like there's an exit from the base or around the base. So they'll keep an eye. Would hate to get shot down from that ridge and not be able to shoot up at them. Moving up the gun support platform. It's going to provide overwatch when we make our assault. Moving up the infantry now, keeping them hidden from view. Holding fire. In ambush stance, they won't shoot at anyone unless they get basically run over. Let's get up a little bit closer. We've spotted someone. or well, they've spotted our Humvee and opened fire on us. And our sniper teams are engaging. We use our second man pad team to take out these windows and walls. Lower level's done. We will have to hold this building afterwards, I think. So I don't want to damage it too much. Just the side we're attacking from. Everyone's holding fire. We're going to creep up just underneath the hill. We have rangers, infantry, guerrillas, mercenaries, which are a diverse, diverse squad. They've got all types. Grenade launcher, sniper rifle, machine gun, the whole lot. But they're a little bit a little bit funny to use, I think. It'd be good for looting the battlefield with. Sniper team's got no issues. All right, we'll move up the mercenaries a bit closer. The fence is in the way. Get the militia up. ATGM's in support in case they've got vehicles nearby. Gun platform's ready and stabilized. It's just a matter of getting everyone into position. Okay, all the combat teams, the frontline guys, are in position. We're going to start the smokescreen operation, throw it out. As much smoke as we can without starting a fight. It does lower your camouflage a little bit, throwing smoke. About halfway. Yeah, so they saw that team, so we've got to go, got to go hot now. Ranger team, throw smoke. Gorillas throw more smoke. We should be okay while we're prone here at the bottom of the hill. As long as we don't take too long. Lots of guys on the roof. Let's make it now. We're going to throw a line of smoke as we enter the building. We need to keep everybody covered. The rest of the team will keep running while one man throws the smoke. So this is useful. Entering from, entering from two sides. Once we're in, they're in some trouble. Support teams are doing a good job. Range is still throwing smoke. Let's bring up the vehicles now that they have cover, just so we can saturate fire on anyone that tries to reinforce that position. And once we've cleared the building, we'll be able to set up defensive fire over this car park, and any reinforcements will be wiped out. Taking some losses, but that, that is expected in a heavy firefight, but nowhere near as much as if you try to frontal charge. We pulled the vehicles back. They have weapons teams firing on them. They're really just there to suppress and provide ammo and support. It looks like there is a slum over here that we need to take care of. All right, the barracks is locked down. We need to start moving teams out to this larger building off here to the east. On the right side of screen, it's not to the east, it's to the south on the map. These guys are set up pretty well on that rooftop. We need to pull the vehicles back. And we need to bring up our actual carriers and supply vehicles. A couple of drivers here. He was just manning the guns while we had it as a checkpoint. Uh-oh. Sniper's under attack. Oh, the infantry are right in her face. She's... Those guys are in trouble. Looks like lesson two unit of sharpshooters is about to be taught a lesson. You need support. Infantry are very squishy when left exposed. 
and unsupported. Let's move the militia over to these buildings here to clear these. And then we will look at moving outside this compound and starting to clear those slums. There are some places we have to visit to try and rescue militia. Or rebels who are locked down. Gun platforms keeping those infantry busy. Everyone that's just fought is having an ammo top up before we assemble a team to move out. Those two buildings to our south have been cleared by militia. We took some losses there, but that's okay. But we are in a very strong defensive position at the moment. We've got a good overlook of that, that building there. So I'm convinced that we can put together a pretty strong team and still keep this in one piece. All right, everyone is restocked. We're ready to form up. Looks like we've got some pretty tight street fighting to do, so our militia are going to go over and help us. The more bodies we have in the area, the easier it will be. We might send one or two Humvees. Send a gun platform, maybe, or we'll just set it up here to protect our carriers. Still got intermittent contacts every now and then. Got a Humvee on the road. It's been hit by the Bradley and finished off with an ATGM. A weapon squad is almost empty. And firing recall as rifles at men in the building. Well, it's a bit of a push here. We have some Humvees, a convoy coming down the road. Infantry are crossing the road. We'll get them support, sending the Bradley to help and to absorb any fire that might come down the street. Humvees coming in for fire support, Rangers are coming across too. And now that we've got them in vision, the ATGM can engage. Running out though. Turn these guys on. Just have one team firing at a time. Ooh, Bradley's taken an RPG. Lost a crew member. We need to set the infantry out, get them into the buildings. Finished. We're going to send another Humvee team. Get the guys in the truck. We need to move these guys out of here. Move them up with the rest of the convoy. We still don't have all our units on the deck. Our infantry team are close to one of the secondary objectives. We'll go and clear that building in a moment. Send some militia over to support them. These are all medium to weak buildings, so I need to be careful they can't really absorb fire, especially heavy weapons. Send some extra units over there to help clear those streets. Humphrey's engaged with a sniper. Second team up on the roof, please. And we'll send an armored van. We go first contact in the streets. Cartel are trying to capture the same objectives we are, so we need to move. Alright, get that building please. Spread out. Start covering some ground. Move up some vehicle support to cover that road. Oh, they've got to one of the teams already. Using RPGs on the houses. Let's get the gorillas up there to fight these guys in the building. Infantry to support them. No losses yet. He's checking the road here to make sure it's safe. Move him back out. He's taking fire. Looks like a school and a playground over that side. Gorillas have breached the building, cleared out the rebels in there, or the cartel members rather. Heavy squad. 
Heavy squad should probably Morning. come back. They're not no good in close quarters. Operations going well so far. Still haven't got this road locked down though. All right, so they've killed two. We've saved one. So far, we're not doing too well in that front. They have a lot of numbers in the in the town. We're sort of being encircled a bit. Heavy teams in big trouble. The Humvee's trying to offer support, but it's taking critical damage. Their crew's out, our crew's out. Now it's a, it's a crew fight, but we've only got two men. They've got four. We need to get sniper support to help them. These guys need to take cover until it's safe. Infantry have got... A nice front going on here. Rangers. Yes, sir. Rangers take a little bit of damage. Keep firing RPGs at these lighthouses. The militia are getting across. They're going to try and clear that building with the Rangers. Oh, that's a pretty heavy, heavily infested building, that one. We're going to move to Bradley up. If Bradley can offer fire support from the other side of the building, help these militia get in, into the fight as well. Force fire on the building to fire an ATGM. There we go. Blow out the wall. And now they can just get chewed up by the plasma bolts as they go in the other side of the building. Alright, those guys did alright. They've taken some damage, but no losses yet. So this is looking good. But they have a team here running at them. Got RPGs here we could pick up. All these militia are in trouble, they need to run. Into this building. Taken one loss. Bradley is just carving that house up. It's going through now. This vehicle crew, can I get back to the Humvee and mow them down quickly? Sniper's not doing a good job of picking those guys off. Let's move some Humvees up to support them. Oh, they've got a cartel tank in the street. That's no good. They're not anti-tank. We need to throw smoke. Rangers. Need to run. Those infantry are retreating out of that building now. That fire was too much from the Bradley. Infantry team has them in a kill zone. Bradley's going to come down and assist against this cartel tank. We don't have any heavy weapons against it. So far, no losses from it. We need to get out of that building. Bradley's coming down to clear the way. Short range ATGM missed. It's unfortunate, but big hits from the main cannon. And the cartel tank is down. Whoa, that's good. Good fighting in the city. I'm going to try and push up the street a little bit more. We weren't successful in completing the civil uh, rescue, the rebels mission. But we, we found two teams out of the four. I think everyone needs now to retreat out of this town. Regroup back at that waypoint. Get this guy packed up and he's going to resupply. These cartel vans carry up, trucks carry a lot of supplies. They're quite useful. What do you want? As long as you don't get us killed. Driver team here. Swap them over. Right, so the cartel truck is restocking all of the infantry that just fought. The order, so they've got to jump in and out to restock. Only takes a moment. Ready to go, sir. I've seen some comments that the micromanagement of the supplies is iffy, but in battle I think it's fine. It makes sense. You can use vehicles to resupply infantry, but you need supply trucks to resupply vehicles. 
and some large squads can't be resupplied by vehicles that can only carry a small amount of men. So a Humvee is sort of like the support vehicle for a weapons team, and that's his job. The APC is for the larger squads. Trucks are multi-purpose. Oh, this poor guy. He had no hope. Alright, let's run up the road here and see what kind of resistance we might run into. It is running towards the cartel's main compound. Looks like there's a ramp at the end of the main road. So we'll spread out a little bit. We won't take just the main road. Keep our wings wide. And the Bradley's, Bradley and Humvee led to support. Ranger team restocking from the Bradley. Everyone's healed up. We didn't take any losses. Very happy with that engagement in the city, despite not succeeding in the objective. We didn't come off worse. Oh, we've... Yeah, that was very, very dangerous. Very lucky. Let's reverse up. We won't go that way. It's way too strong. They have too many missiles. That Bradley's smoke saving everyone's lives. But the ATGM team is still alive, I think. So we need to... Think about going a different way. Everyone's pulling back. We've lost one of our Humvees. It was on fire, but it's okay now. Ranger team is the rear guard. Lots of smoke to cover that withdrawal. So you don't have to push every attack. We can run away. You heard that? The cartel are going to arm their yeah, own slaves. No, 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 no. Too strong that way. To force us to fight the people we're here to free. Coming back to our, our fallback position. No matter what happens, we can't fire back at them. They're only fighting because they have the cartel's own guns aimed at their backs. Okay, so now the good news. Now it's time to destroy the cartel HQ. We do that and their own slave fighters will turn against them. Reporting. Right, so we have to somehow get to that objective without going through that town where that secondary is because we don't want to kill the armed militia. Ranger did a team did a great job of holding off that withdrawal. It's time for them to leave. We take it, and we can use that stuff instead of them. Don't. They can fix up those vehicles and get them back into the battle. Yeah, they're running low on frag grenades. Let's get out of here. Rangers ahead. Yes, sir. Hoorah. What do you need? That's the way to use a ranger team. They sh they're no, fast. They should be able to make it back. They may have some cartel members hot on their heels, though. Five-man team on the run. Oh, yeah, look at that. We, we left at the right time. But we can't leave them unsupported. Oh damn, we we can't abandon here. We have to keep a position here. So we'll keep the mercenaries. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Because I had set up the position there on the other building, trying to guard that road approach. We'll see how much resistance that building comes on. Uh, how much fire they come under. We may have to retreat back to the main barracks. We've also found a vehicle yard just below the enemy rebels, the armed militia. And it looks like it's clear of the building. So I'm thinking, all oh, these guys are getting chased down hard. Ranger team are running for their lives. Five man teams being chased by eight. One man lost, throw the smoke down, get out of there. Once you get back around the corner, we've got Humvee support for you. One man down. Take those losses personally. Bradley's waiting to finish off those guys that would dare to give chase. That Humvee's having his vehicle crew picked off. We just lost another mercenary. It's a little bit exposed in that building. I'm not convinced. Enemy incoming. He's a bad guy. 
All right, everyone's going to form up. We're going to form a convoy, and we're going to try and make a break for another part of the city. We're going to leave a garrison here at at the barracks. Leave them some escape vehicles and, a, and some supplies, and they'll be expected to hold that point. And I think I might make it all the weapons teams, maybe a unit of mercenaries. We'll see. All right, we need to form up the convoy, get the garrison in the barracks. I've got an extra supply truck here doing nothing. We'll go and get that crewed up and together. Okay, we are ready to make our push. This is going to be risky. We did clear the town recently, but it could have been overrun again. So the Bradley's gonna leave the way. And once they're set up to run through this township, Send the Bradley right up front. Very risky. But we're going to do it. Up this road, ignore the town. The Bradleys take the main streets. Running support there on the left side. Coming to the edge of the map, but it looks like there's a little bit of green space for us to run the convoy up this side. No telling what kind of resistance there is. Just wait for everybody. No sign of danger. Okay, everyone's forming up. I should probably retreat my other troops back to the barracks now. Push up a little bit more. and bring the troops back to the barracks to hold that position. What have we got? Two units of militia, a weapons team, a mercenary unit, ATGM. We should be fine. All right, we have contact here at the vehicle depot. We need to dump our troops up here. All the infantry, rangers, militia, everyone out. Supply truck needs to stop. Humvee needs to stop. Bradley can push. Just to cover the... Oh, we just took a hit there on our supply wagon. Infantry carrier. Smoke out. For the boys. More smoke. Humvee's up to suppress. Infantry are getting ready. We're going to run the infantry and the guerrillas up. Here we go. Got Let's keep that smoke thing. Just infantry so we won't push our vehicles in. But it looks like we have a lot of vehicles that we can man and crew here. Alright, sharpshooters need to get into here. Because they only have one man team. Just edge our way in with the vehicles. We have some reinforcements coming in here off the side. They just got absolutely minced. Alright, we have contact outside of the vehicle depot, but I can't fight those guys. I don't want to fight them. All right, it should be okay. I had a look. If we just clear these buildings and then set ourselves to ambush stance, we shouldn't engage them. Someone took some damage. I've got a striker, two, an AP, is it two strikers or an APC? A striker, an APC, two Humvees, a Bradley, another Humvee. Cartel tank, looking good. Oh, I don't have another tank crew though. Damn. Just looking, did I, I, I looked at it. I was going to give my technician some tank crew ability, but you can only do it at training facilities. And I don't think anyone has that ability. Ooh, don't shoot all the vehicles. That's the militia I was telling you about. Don't shoot them. We don't want to hurt them. Infantry squad ready. Going. Enemy 
Run away. Don't shoot at them. Ambush only. Okay, that should be alright. They're just taking pot shots at us because they, they have to. We have lots of smoke. Yeah, so we've got an APC and a striker, a bunch of Humvees and a Bradley to collect. I can't get the Bradley yet. Making sure no one's getting shot out too much. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright, that was a good a good little raid. Convoy, everyone's back at the barracks, so they've got that place on lockdown. They are cut off from us. They have one Humvee. Oops, I forgot to leave them another vehicle. Maybe I should send a truck back, just in case the shit hits the fan. We've moved everyone safely away from the enemy... Mil oh, sorry, the, the militia. The friendlies with guns. Got to send the van back with a trailer. That should be enough to carry everyone over if we have to abandon that position. And they've got the gun platform there. They can man for self-defense. We'll take our newly acquired cartel tank up. Got a striker here we should take. The APC as well. Spoils. This, uh, this convoy is going to be huge. The run back to the barracks is a bit dicey because the truck has taken the main roads. <laughs> I should have given him waypoints. He just took the path of least resistance. Right, our striker's ready. That's pretty cool. It's a bit rusty old. But we'll get it. We'll get it fixed up. The Ranger team's out there keeping an eye on this building up ahead. This is our objective. It's not very far, but it's across the open plain. So far, we've only spotted one person. ATGM teams are taking the sides. Infantry can push up the sides as well. And we'll start forming up our attack. It looks like the van is just about to make it to the barracks. Coming down into the car park on the minimap now. Our van has arrived. We'll get a squad of RPG into the gun platform. As long as you don't get us killed. As long as you don't get us killed. You know what? Actually, I'm going to bring those infantry up for this assault. We'll just leave a skeleton crew of militia and a weapons team here. Job done on the Humvee. I said they were going. To, it was going to be help, but I've changed my mind. Rangers ready. I need all the infantry I can get to make this push here. There's two objectives not far from each other. These extra troops I'm bringing up will help crew those vehicles we've found. All right, we're ready to go. We need someone in the, the turret though, please. So we'll get the mercenaries in the turret and the Humvee's gonna come too as fire support because we know, we know there are people in the town now. This time we will take waypoints along the outskirts. Just shift click to queue up orders. We've got three more vehicles to crew, four to crew. Got a supply truck there, that will be useful. Alright, we'll just wait for our van to make it through the city. The Humvee looks like it's gone off course. Silly bugger. This one here is a, a mortar carrier. One of the things that caused us so much trouble in Tortuga. Stopped me from doing a direct infantry push right up the center of the town. And still, sadly, we can't crew up the Bradley. Just a little bit of trouble at the barracks. They are still probing us. Got two militia that can only really fight close range, but then we have the weapons team with the 50. It'll be right for now, I think. Planning phase is over. Smoke screen is set. Infantry in position. Let's make our push. Keep that smoke. As we advance through it, keep throwing it. Keep throwing it. I'm going to block vision for the entire team. 
Two more, and we should be set to get into that building. Yeah, it's full of guys, but we're already at the door. We are taking fire. We've taken some high explosive shot. That did hit, but no, no losses. No losses. Cartel tank over here will engage him with the Bradley's ATGM. Oh, through the smoke screen, it's ineffective. He's dumped another smoke screen. We're just going to hit him with mortars, I think. No, he'll go for the buildings. We might push that cartel tank in a moment. Oh, the infantry managed to get an RPG out the window. Oh, lots of damage, but no losses. It's done. Those cartel slaves are stopped fighting for Listen to me. Move. The cartel commanders are forcing you to fight for death. Lay down your weapon. Over here fighting now. The fire on that building quickly. Not be forced to kill you. Enemy spotted. That's good. Enemy They're trying to repair that cartel tank. Spotted one. Enemy close in. Solid vehicle charge. They are distracted by uh, infantry. They have no vehicle support. It's probably the prime time to do it. Blown huge chunk out the back of that building. It should make it much easier to get to them. We are burning through a lot of ammunition. The guys on the roof of the other building, we are engaged with those guys as well. Ranger team's taken one loss. We'll bring them back. All right. Cleared them out. All right, the mortar carrier can now concentrate fire on the rooftop of this building. We can return the favor. Oh, ATGM through the smoke. It's... Oh, it veered off course. It was aimed for the Bradley and it's killed one of our Humvees. I can't tell you which one that was. I think it was one of our recovered Humvees. That's a good thing. All right, now we know they have missiles. We need to move vehicles back. It's probably a Humvee fitted with a tow launcher. All right, let's send up the convoy. The guys at the barracks seem to be okay, according to the minimap. But we are ready for the next phase. The front line's holding strong. The infantry haven't taken any losses in that building, but they've taken a lot of damage. So we need to cycle them out soon. Oh, there's a huge firing line of infantry standing on the road. I think it's time to recycle them out. Infantry quad ready. Gorillas here. All three units infantry withdraw. And then they will advance. Rangers ready. Yes, sir. Get these guys out of the fight. They've done a great job. Get them all into the infantry carrier. Tactical withdrawal. There's nothing while I was running. Hit the deck. Get out of the way. There we go. Let's get some machine gun fire around that corner. They thought they had us on the run. Just keeping in mind there were ATGMs before. But I think we took that Humvee out. They've recruited up the tank. We'll use our own cartel tank to engage it. Big hits. They managed to get one round off. No hits on us. Alright, we've taken losses. Squad losses with militia. Oh shit, the barracks is getting swarmed. But we have reinforcements, so it's time to bring in the big guns. I think that about sums us up. We only have one driver crew left. So I might leave him in reserve for now. Heaps of vehicles, but no one to drive them. 
and that's because I was using my combat infantry to drive the convoy here. We will have to prune the convoy down at some point. This will just be like our spoils of war. But we have new supplies, a couple of weapons teams, and we also have our Iroquois helicopter. Come in on a rocket run and take out this attack. It was bad timing, guys. Big rocket run. You have to really watch the heli though, because if it comes under fire, it's very fragile. And if you have the rockets armed, it does this thing where it needs a run up before it will strafe. So you need to watch where she's circling. I've lost another Humvee. Furball 4. Militia are getting chewed up because they just can't engage at that range. The heli's gotta have to save the day while we wait for the convoy to arrive. Turn off the rockets and just strafe the infantry. I'm not totally convinced the heli is useful yet. But you need to try and use all the tools available. Can you queue orders for it? Just kill all these guys. No, we need to kill the Humvee, actually. Alright, our reinforcements have arrived, but they're not going to be very useful. It's up to Heli Boy. He's got to do his strafing thing. Got to fly away and come back with some momentum. Trucks, what are you doing out in the open? What do you need? Everyone, we need to withdraw. Move it. How can we help? The militia need ammo, the weapons team right, needs a rest. Yeah. Strike has taken a crew loss because we're not Trust watching anything that's happening fire. over that side at the moment. Trust here. We got contact. Go, that's better. He's strafing all the infantry now. What do you mean? Where am I what taking hits? Whoa, mercenaries nearly got wiped out. So the weapons teams and the militia are off the roof and we're going to swap them with some fresh reserves. We've got Kondo, the hero sniper. Another weapons team with, I don't know what weapon they've got offhand. We've got an RPG team and some rangers. Plus the heli, which is keeping a good view of the battlefield and mowing them all down with the miniguns. 50 used up all of its ammo, lost all of his crew. The heli has infantry inside it and it's burning fuel so we'll land it here and drop off these troops. Got Mother of Calderon, the other tank driver, as well as uh, the hacker team from New Tortuga. Alright, so they're going to take the Bradley and we'll use the Bradley in this mission. We'll leave the Abrams in reserve. It doesn't have a driver now, so we'll just leave it out there. We are ready to make our run across the road. Going to form up the vehicles, get the other buildings filled with infantry. I'm going to get ready to cross that road and take the fight to the dormitory. We can bring our last crew, which is going to bring in our cartel tank. I think we're right for supplies and fuel. Yeah, it's got high explosive and armor piercing 90 millimeter gun. That's good. Good enough to get through most things. Okay, so this truck has our infantry reserves that were holding the barracks. They're going to have a bit of a rest and we'll form them up with the main force eventually. Fill truck, bring that up together so it doesn't get blown up. Cartel tank is arriving nice and fast. 
and our mortar is about to run out of ammunition, so we need to hold fire. Gonna see if I can get this Humvee back to our position over on the other side of town. I think we're pretty safe and secure now. The rest of the boys are okay, and that will be all of our vehicles in one area. If we need to, we will send the heli to support that barracks. But they have a lot more firepower now over there, so they should be okay. Alright, we've got a green light for attack. Let's see if we can do some nasty work with the chopper. No, they're firing at us. Taking a hit. Damn. Hit with a 50 machine gun. Alright, so it won't be so useful. We'll land the chopper up and we'll do this uh, Do this the old fashioned way. Bradley, put some fire support out, drop some smoke for the infantry. We have contact here with a cartel tank. We might peek out. Rangers, get out of the way. Just blew his room up. Okay, next time he fires. Oh wait, we can use this one. Get this uh, junk Bradley to engage. Nope, too late. The ATGM team's fired off. He's dumped smoke. He's in trouble now. He's lost his gun and his wheels. Driver's killed. Bradley, smoke screen, please. Oh, two wasted ATGMs. One going rogue and destroying the building. Stop firing. We don't want to waste those precious rockets. Alright, vehicle push. Infantry are entrenched in this building. Going to run across the smoke screen. While it persists, they are trying to repair that tank. It's just it's back in action. We need to get across that road before the smoke runs out. That's it, boys. Taking heavy fire, but it's pretty ineffective. The guerrillas have gone in the front door with their plasma shotguns. Two infantry teams following up close behind. This tank destroyer is having a bad day. Bunch of reinforcements now we've taken this position. Everyone's forming up. We've still got a small garrison at the barracks. And there are machines coming, apparently. Oh, shit, a legion tank. And look at all the civilians just forming up for rebellion. Oh, damn it. Bradley, get behind cover now, or you get run over. Oh, two hits on the tank. We can't risk the Bradley to that kind of firepower. We might use the cartel tanks. They're expendable. I would like to keep my Bradleys the whole mission, uh, the whole game, if possible. Super versatile unit. All right, guys, do it, do it. Too slow, but there is a second one, so they can have some glory now. ATGM teams running out of rockets. Big hit. Two more, the gun's disabled. She's not a threat anymore. Neutralized. Machines from the stadium. They're scrap metal now. Very good. Now we can continue our assault. You want the cartel gone? No need to now get it. On our way. We don't have to live on our knees anymore. Into battle. Take down the cartel. Man, these civilians really hate those cartel assholes. Look at them fight with everything they got. Yes. 
The rebels are charging straight up the hill to be shattered on these artillery platforms. Man, and it looks like it's actual Normandy up that up that beach. I've got a road here on the outside of access. I might drop a ranger team over there and see what we can s scope out. Let's go. But yeah, they just got absolutely decimated. So there was no real reason to help them rebel. I should have just gone there. up there and wiped out the the main compound itself. You got a plan? I got people. Oh shit! I just skipped that. What did it say? Uh, neutralize the armor grande. Got too clicky with the conversations. They they a bit obnoxious with when they pop in. But you kind of don't want to miss them too, because sometimes the battle chatter just sort of gets drowned out. So it's one of those games where you kind of have to pay a lot of attention. We've got two engineer teams we need to look after. Some allied supply trucks. Well, at least we got back what we used. There's 12,000 supplies in the two of those trucks. So let's form up a supply route, get everyone stocked up as much as we can from these two, and then we'll move out. Sending in the engineers up here to the quarry where those machines came from, we found two dozers. So the engine, uh, sorry, the vehicle crews have taken those. If anything, they'll just be worth money to sell. I'm not sure how a, a dozer benefits over the truck. Probably for off-road ability, I would say. Probably a bit more sturdy than the truck. Alright, Ranger team, engineering, hacker. I'm going to go and have a look and see and probe the entrance to this base that the, the rebels just got smashed on. There's a lot of artillery, so if they're spotted, they will be killed promptly. Change of plans. I've been scouting the map. And I've realized that we can go around the edge where I started. So we are going to, we've got 12 minutes to get across the city, which I'm pretty sure is clear if we take the route that I've already cleared. And those artillery are just going to destroy us if we get anywhere near it. We're constantly firing at the rebels. But I'm not going to be doing another new Tortuga where we just try and probe them until we can find a way through their artillery. I didn't bring my heavy armor again, so we can't just run up, and I'm not convinced that they won't just have ATGMs in the bunkers there. So, we're going to make a mad dash across the city. We have 11 minutes, and I think the chopper is going to be the main, the main force here. We're going to go and scout up around and see if we can get to that objective that the old engineers need to get to as quick as possible choppers ready right we're making our mad dash and i've sent the chopper to the far corner of the top left of the map scouting right up the edge of the map see what we can find oh we've taken a hit on the humvee and it's because we're going the main the main road, which is past the entrance to the cartel. We haven't cleared this way. But just for the sake of speed, we're going to go this way. All the infantry are loaded up. We're all making our way back to the barracks. We don't have to hold the barracks anymore. So my infantry there are making a run up the hill to try and clear the way. It looks like my chopper's arrived. We'll go and have a look in a moment. What have we got here? Oh, it's already killed something and we've got an artillery piece. Bit of a stutter there. Turn two rockets. There we go. So no artillery to make our life miserable. Oh, we're taking shots from the sniper. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Oh, wow. We're going to be able to get the whole garrison. We should be able to clear that whole way. Assuming they don't have anything big up the hill. The faster vehicles have already made it. 
Big Bob is in. He's got hardly any crew left. It's just him again. He's always the last man standing in his tank. I do have infantry still on board the chopper, so we can dump them if we need to, but I don't think I'll be able to find a landing spot here. Oh, shit, there's one guy there. Probably be a lot harder if you don't have a job up. Not insurmountable, but we're going to have to put the whole convoy up there, or are we just going to dismount and run it by foot? Decisions, decisions. Whole convoy it is. Chopper doing a did a great job. Got a Humvee out here on the side. I forgot about it. Contact in the grass, but they're just riflemen, so we should be fine. Let's go up the mountain path a little bit longer. Oh, we could go up here actually. We could land troops right there. Not many though, we'd need a few chopper lifts. It's, oh no, it's not unguarded. Hit him with a rocket. There we go. <laughs> oh, dudes here. Dudes here. I've got to turn the rockets off while we do stupid shit. There we go. It's waiting to die. Time is getting short. Five minutes and 30 seconds to go. We've got to hurry. The engineers are in bulldozers. They're just going to go up the mountain path. I think we might be cutting this a little bit fine. Reporting. On the move, sir. On the way. I'm going to send the Bradley just in case. You never know. Now that we've cleared that route, I'm just sending everyone back down the hill. More infantry on the approach. No concern for the Bradley and the cartel tank. Give me something new. Yes, on route. Going. They never stood a chance. waiting on order. Going. Oh, Big Bo I should mention, Big Bob took so many losses that he couldn't drive his own Bradley, and so now he's relegated to driving the junk Bradley. Because he has no crew to fire the guns for him. We had to swap him out. Drivers reporting, sir. Yes, sir. So you might be able to keep your tank alive the whole mission, but everyone inside it might be mincemeat. So I need to really think about which crew are going to drive which tanks if that happens again. You basically mission killed if you lose everyone in the tank. Oh, we can we're cutting it very fine. We have two minutes left for the bulldozers. Let's move. Moving. Ready. On the move, sir. I'm just worried they're going to start raining down artillery on us. Here where you need them. Taking fire. Chopper was very valuable. Highly rated for the last two missions, at least. So all the cartel commanders are running away now. After I, my rock, my helicopter took a, a rocket run as it was leaving the combat zone and hit one of them. I don't know if that's that was scripted to happen or what. Oh, for it was supposed to happen when I was up the top of the hill. But yeah, so now we have to get up there. They're all heading to the evac zone, so I've got my chopper there that can sort of watch over. 
But it's um, they're Legion aircraft, not choppers. So I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to lose my chopper to an air superiority vehicle. And we sort of have to bum rush the whole center because I don't know how long this is going to take for them to evac everyone. Rangers reporting. We're moving, guys. Okay, boss. Moving. Ready for target. Okay, get everyone into the vehicles that is injured. We need to look after them. Chopper's ready to go. Chopper's dropped off his infantry. We need those guys on the ground. All right, it's now or never. Our armor is still on its way. We're just gonna have to do this with the light guys. All the non-combat vehicles are extracting. Let's do a die now, this force. Barracks. Where is my combat vehicles? I need those guys to repair up and then rush up the hill. They're both fast, or all of them are fast. Shit, it's a HK. Oh, big hits there on the Humvee, destroying it. See, I did not want that to happen to my helicopter. Our man pad is out. Dump flares, but we still hit with the man pad. Shit, is he coming for another run? Ah, uh, we've got no heavy weapons to shoot it down besides the man pad. Oh, big hits there on the junk Humvee that we've collected. It's on fire. Oh, we're getting stalled by this air superiority. We need the man pads to do the job. Oh, this Rev Terminators, damn it. It's not just Air Forces. I'm just, yeah, the Bradley and the Cartel tanks are running up the hill to try and get... Man pad missing. This guy is just strafing our infantry. There's nothing we can do. Just hope that that man pad trooper can shoot him down. Get up there! There they are! Get them! Fuck those guys! Oh, all of our vehicles are just getting chewed up. Cartel tank is opening fire on the cartel bosses who are hiding, waiting for transport. That hunter killer is just mate, literally living up to its name. We've lost so many vehicles. Okay, we've got one left. Oh, we just got... Look at that infantry force. We lost all of the vehicles running up the hill. Uh-oh. Got a hunter killer landing. Is it trying to pick up that last guy? We need to kill that guy. This is a mission of vengeance now. We lost a lot of good men running up that hill. Shoot the transport. Oh, the guy himself, he's disappeared. There's two left. Get them. Shoot the transport. Hunter killer going down. That was a good mission. That was a, an interesting mission. We had to do a few different types of operations to pull it off. All objectives achieved. Took long enough. Then you'll be leaving soon? Yeah, business there. You founders, guys. It's a nice idea, but Sergeant's right. I hear that. Let's get packed up and ready to go. Okay. The hard work is done. Cartel bosses are dead. We took a lot of vehicle losses. Hopefully that didn't translate too much to actual squad losses. We a few of our driver teams have a bit worse for wear. We're going to land the chopper, get her all fueled up, and then we'll be heading out. Heading north again. Let's see where our journey takes us. 
And as the very last Bradley crosses the line, we are finished here at Chihuahua. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Commander Tyrael. See you next time.